Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Doss here, and welcome back to our Ruby Reactions. Now before we get started, I got a few things to say. One, I'm very sorry for not reading comments as often as I used to. Uh, I've been very busy for these past few weeks, and it's only going to get busier for the, uh, the, the end of the year. So hopefully once things slow down a bit uh, soon, I can get back into reading your comments like consistently and... Uh, being able to interact with him a lot more. I do apologize, especially this past like week has been extremely busy for myself, so I am sorry. Um, again, I also want to remind everyone that uh, the week of September 20th, uh, the Ruby reactions for both channel members and for normal YouTube will be coming out earlier. They'll be coming out uh, on Thursday, probably. It, it, like Wednesday to Thursday is probably when they're going to come out. So midweek, just because uh, on Thursday I will be leaving. I'll be going on a company trip. Uh, so I will not be home for that entire weekend. Um, and from the looks of it, it also looks like the same thing will happen uh, the week after. So the last two weeks of September, uh, video releases will be earlier in the week just because... I am actually planning to go out of town that next week as well with friends. I'm planning on going to San Francisco. So uh, so that I'm not worrying about trying to have videos post and trying to see if I can get Wi-Fi while I'm at, at San Fran. Uh, I would rather have it preferably go out early, just so I don't have to worry about, uh, about missing out on uploading. So just want to let you guys know and remind everyone that the last two weeks of September... Uh, videos are going to come out earlier. So what that means is uh, this next video for everyone on YouTube, once this goes live on YouTube for, no for normal viewers, the next video that you guys are going to watch is going to be early. And then the video after that is going to be early. And for channel members, it's not going to be next video, but the two videos after that one. So to be specific... Um, we just make it super clear the videos that should have come out, uh, that should be, that should be coming out the 24th and the first will be coming out earlier. Just want to let you guys, uh, let you guys know, let everything be clear. So last time, uh, we had, uh, well, we ended off with. Team Ruby. Uh, well, no, sorry. We we ended off with uh, with Cinder and her team going to uh to confront Raven. I am uh excited to see how that plays out. I have no idea what is going to happen, and uh, I'm excited to see some sick battle. I I one thing that that I haven't like mentioned, but I have been wondering is the extent of Cinder's powers. We've seen her training with Salem, and but I would love to see how she's able to use the Maiden's abilities. Uh, I'm wondering if we will get any type of update from Blake, or if that will be next episode. But um, I'm I'm really excited and uh, just off topic. Ooh, my voice! I scrolled down on the on the site, on the Rusty site for the episode. Uh, I forgot that I can buy the pop figures from the site, and they're pretty cheap right now. They're all eight dollars, but unfortunately, it looks like Weiss and Blake are out of stock. However. Yang still is in stock, so I think after I record this, I think I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy that pop, because I already have Ruby. Ruby is on my wall over there. I got her for pretty cheap, so. I, uh, that's just off topic, but I'll probably, probably get the Yang figure after this. But, uh, yeah, overall, uh, I'm really enjoying this volume. I think volume five is has been a lot better than volume four. Volume four wasn't bad, um, but it was very slow. It was a bit more boring, but I'm enjoying all the character beats we've been getting with 
this recent uh with with this volume with all these recent episodes i'm enjoying learning so much about different characters and i think i think it's a good uh a good like change of pace i guess is what i can say so i'm excited for that uh besides that uh i i'm wondering how this this volume is going to progress. We're now officially ha like past the halfway point for uh, this volume, and I can't really predict what's going to happen. But I can't. Wow, I I did not realize uh, the "Why does it make me feel the feels" video for Ruby. Uh, I got twenty three comments. That's that's uh that's surprising. But uh, I'm excited to see how everything plays out. But before that, we're going to be thanking my wonderful channel members. We're going to be thanking Meredith Lagorn, Benjamin Burdett, Darren Johnson, and Hayden Smith. These people pay real-life money to get early access uh, to uh, any catch-up content. I've been enjoying it. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at... Uh, uh, at, at, at the comments that, that are left really quick. Uh, uh, Mara says o o orange would make a good color team name. Oh, that's clear. I mean, that's clear. That that's clever. But they wouldn't use it since Oscar's earlier. That's fair, I guess. Um, I don't think they're planning to replace P Pira. Yeah, that's true. Um, you notice Oscar gets left out of dinner. Unfortunately, it seems to happen a lot. He's not considered. E Part of either the kids or the adults. No one's doing intensity, but it has to be pretty lonely. That's interesting. That's that sucks. He's in, hopefully in the future volumes. He gets uh, gets more accepted. Um, bird power is something almost anyone would kill for. Yeah, imagine how I would react to close soldiers seeing uh be treated as senior generals, privy to all the kingdom's military information. Or the Harry Potter books be different than the Golden Trio had given Dumbledore an ultimatum like that. That's true. That's true. Um Yeah. Uh that is one thing that, that I said last episode was uh I did like that Yang put her foot down and gave Ospen like that ultimatum. I, I, I thought it was fair, like don't keep secrets. I think I thought that was nice. Um, and as for the episode before last episode with uh John Rod, uh, wishing that the the dialogue was a bit better. Uh, he wished the dialogue was a bit better between Raven, Yang, and Weiss. Uh, Raven tells them information that seems to them, but not really to us, the audience. I don't mind a little bit of recap. Maybe one hundred percent Raven's rules recap. Uh, that's true. That's fair. I I think I said it like it's it's information that we knew. Um. And, and like, that, that's very much, like, it's a fair point. Like, we don't need to know that, but it, I do think it's it's good to see Raven tell them and, and see their reactions to it and how they take it. Um, obviously, I think everyone would have liked if Raven revealed more of what happened between her, Ospin, and all and everything. But I do like it being vague because who knows, maybe in the future, uh, I'm speaking from my own experience right here because you guys are already in the future. Maybe in the future we'll learn more from Raven and learn what happens. Um, it seems like this comment really had a bit of discourse with it. Um, oh, thank, I'm seeing, I, I, I'm just glancing at Hayden's comment and I like how, they, thank you for putting in big, caps uh don't read ahead if i haven't seen the whole show thank you uh i like it uh i've been i just i i like this i i, I like this a lot and i it seems like this volume really has been sparking a lot of uh a lot of conversation which i think is is really good um I'm probably going to go into a lot of this more in my volume recap and thoughts video where I talk about all these comments you guys are putting. I'll probably even like spend a whole section of there just reading your, your comments on, on the video and having 
a one-sided conversation with it, but like just skimming through the comments and especially I know like my notifications have been blowing up with comments. Um, these past few episodes have caused a lot of conversa- conversation, which I think is great. Um, that's one of the things I really like about reactions and watching videos like that is the fact that uh, there's always like really good like arguments, conversations that people can make and just like you just end up Uh, you can just uh like go on and on and on, giving like points of every of every side. Um, hopefully by the time I am completely caught up with Ruby and everything, uh, I can maybe do who knows a live stream and just have all you guys just like chatting and like we can just talk through Ruby and stuff like that. This will probably be when Volume Nine comes out and it's over, so we'll we'll have to wait until then, but. Uh, I think I've gone on enough. I've already been talking for 11 minutes now. Uh, I do apologize. Um, I I just these 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 episodes have been really enjoyable, and I've been really like I like looking at your guys's comments, and I haven't been able to read them for the past like week, week and a half, just because of how busy I've been. So this is nice. But enough of that. Let's get into the reaction. Man, I really enjoy the opening sequence for this volume. It's so like great. I can watch it over and over and over again. Well, this looks like a little area in Genshin, to be honest. Especially with this camera point of view. I do like how they've made, like, little, like, softness whenever, You're like, there's great. daylight. Oh, God. It's gonna shit out of me. Hi, it's gang. Just... Boop. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. What are you doing up? Can't fall back asleep. Uh, me neither. I know that well, feel. Fortunately, coffee exists. <laughs> How do you guys take your coffee? I like mine. I like my coffee. I like it with uh, it's. I, I say I like it uh, as creamer. Don't worry. With a side of coffee. Blasphemous amounts of cream and sugar just for you. Exactly. Oh, just yeah, okay. So I. Way strikes again. I take. I will pour this on you, and it will burn. <laughs> I take my coffee like Ruby then. <laughs> that's uh that's good to know that uh I'm can't basically Ruby. And Mistral. That's what you can't believe? Well yeah. And all the other magic and stuff. But okay, you know what I mean. I honestly wasn't sure if I'd ever see you two again. Oh. Well, here's to defying expectations. Jeez, Ruby. Okay, she I don't drink my like my coffee physically like Ruby. Could be here with us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she made her choice. Oh, Yang's still a little grumpy with Blake. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, she could have been here if she just stuck around. It's no big deal though. We'll be fine. All right, Sundare. Don't you want her here? It's rare. I don't see Why this side of Yang here? a lot. She's a Are friend. You still mad at her for leaving? Oh, whatever gave you that idea, Ruby? No, I'm totally fine. I'm great. Okay, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down! <sighs> Whoa, Yang. It really hurt her that Blake just left. Whatever. She's still dealing with it. She's gotten better, but she's not 100%. I feel like she needs Blake. She needs to, like, confront her and they hey, need to Blake! talk. You ready to go? Be right there. Oh, I'll leave a note for her, huh? Or not? Oh. I doubt that that's real. I think she's Are just doing this. Or what? To, um, We've got the entire nocturnal section to hit up. To take her. Entire nocturnal section. That's smart. You okay? She needs some. She needs a walk. Yeah, I'll meet you there. I need to take care of something first. Hmm. She was there, huh? I like that we're focusing a lot on Yang and Blake. Oh. 
Yeah? Look, Ruby, I really don't want to talk Ruby. about it, okay? Can you just leave me alone for a bit? Pretty sure it's Weiss. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Weiss. Did you need something? She needs to talk. I really love that outfit for Weiss. It's very pleasing. I love the gradient. I know she's our teammate. But I'm not just going to change my mind. I'm Jeez. sorry, I just... I don't think you know what it's like to be left. You have a giant family. Recitals no. to perform at. Dinners to attend. Weiss knows all too well. I didn't have any of that. My mom left me. Ruby's mom left too. Ty was always busy with school and Ruby couldn't even talk yet. I had to pick up the pieces. I had to keep things together. Alone. Weiss, if you have something to say, then say it. When I was 10, my dad finally admitted to my mom that the only reason he married her was for the family name. Yeah, the fucking scumbag. It was actually on my birthday. He missed the big dinner. She got mad. He finally snapped. I think she already knew. Looking back, yeah. I think I knew too. This is confirmation. But hearing him say it finally pushed her over the edge. First, it was separate lunches and dinners. Opposite balconies at my recitals. A glass of wine here, a glass of wine there. Then it was no dinners, no recitals. A bottle of wine here, and well, you get the idea. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have assumed. Yeah. So right. makes an ass out of you and I me. I don't know loneliness like you do. She knows a different version. version. Yeah, exactly. There you go. And I'll bet Blake has her own version too. Everyone she has her own version of loneliness. Alone, though. I was here for her. We all were. She chose to leave us. She. I Why doubt. Do you no. Think she did that? Yeah. She felt like she didn't have a choice. The entire time she felt Blake guilty. was at Beacon, she was afraid to open up to people. She tried to keep her past separated from us. She tried to protect us. And then you Eventually, got hurt, Yang. Eventually, those walls she put up came down. And the moment they did, the one thing she was afraid of actually happened. Yeah, exactly. The universe exactly. proved her right. No one blamed her for anything. If she had just she talked blamed to herself. us, she would have known that. How could I be there for her if she doesn't let me? What if I needed her here for me? Oh my god, dude. I know it's not I just, easy. I just want to give you such a I big wish hug, she had too. She wishes as well. The only thing we can do now is but be she there for doesn't her when she's feel ready. like it's right. When she comes back. If she comes back. No, no, she if will. it's a win. Yeah, exactly. Yang, you. Ruby, and even Blake, or more like family to me than my brother or even my own father. I would do anything for you three, and I'm willing to bet Blake feels the same way. Look so, at you, Wise. You've ready, really grown. I'll be there for her. I and hope you will be there for her too. I know we're not as close, but I'm here for you too. Look at you, Wise. Is, uh, everything okay? Yeah, it is. Wow. <sighs> God, that outfit on Blake is just so good. So good. Ilya? Everyone's outfit's really good for I'm this. Here. I don't trust this. I really don't. Oh, that's clever. Ilya, I thought I she was still scared, in the shadow. But you don't have to be. My family and I, we can keep you safe. I'm sorry. Yep, I fucking knew it. It's a fucking trap. You can trap. make it up to me by helping us stop Corsican Fennec. It's not what she's sorry no. about. I'm 
I'm sorry. <gasps> A bat. What are you? Here's my question. Well done, Sister Trefa. And to you, Ilya. Ilya! What are you doing? I tried to warn you, Blake. I'm sorry. Don't tell me you're sorry. But I am. I am sorry it has to be this way. But you and your family are holding the Faunus back. No, why is the audio because cutting out a bit for this? Because we're trying to protect people? In what world do you live in where attacking the innocent is the right thing to do? The same one as you. There's no such thing as innocent. There's no right thing to do. Only what's best for us. She's not wrong. There's the humans that still hate but... the Faunus. And there's the others who stand by and let the hate happen. But you know what snuffs out hate? Fear. It's not I don't true. Like Fair, fear people. breeds hatred. But I'll tell you this. It's gotten us results. Yeah, Man, the voice actress is really killing it in Look this one. it's gotten you. We all have to make sacrifices for the greater good. No matter how much it hurts. And you think killing me is really for the greater good? Nope. They're no. not here to kill you. But getting rid of your family is. You wouldn't. You can't. I won't let you. I know. That's why you're being sent to Mistral. To Adam. <sighs> Ilya, please. You don't have to do this. This isn't you. Yes, it is. But I guess back then you were just too busy falling for Adam to notice. I was always jealous of the way you looked at him. Oh. I wanted you to look at me that way. Oh. But we can't always get what we want. Yuma, with me. You two, get her to the docks. Well then. Let's go, traitor. No! Huh? <laughs> what? Hey, hey, I knew it. A new son wasn't just gonna let her go alone. Thanks for the backup. Thanks for the invitation. You okay? No. You heard, Ilya. My family's in danger. Call the police and let's go. Right. Come on, Mom. Pick up. If they hurt their mother. No. Please, no. Get down! Oh, hello. Oh. Like a bunny knife. Yeah. Come on, girl, you got this. Get out of my house! <laughs> Gear up! Yes, brother. I'm afraid I'm inclined to agree. Oh. <laughs> kind of panther like. You. Really? Uh, I was not expecting that to be the end of the episode, and. Mm, I always love seeing the character designs. The character sheets are always really nice. Body suit, Ilya, Yuna.
Nice eyes. <sighs> Man, the audio kept cutting out a little bit on my end. I don't know if that's the episode or if that's just my recording, but oh well. Well, anyway, on to the discussion. Alrighty. Um, not as impactful as the last few episodes, but still pretty good. Um, they really blue balled the fuck out of me. Uh, I was really, I really thought we were going to get a little bit more of a fight at the end of this episode. Uh, I was not paying attention to how much time had passed. Damn it. Um, let's start, off, let's start off with Yang. Yang obviously has not healed from what happened. She may have come to terms, but she's still dealing with the feeling of loneliness that, that she had gotten when Blake decided to leave. I think that's the big thing that really hit Yang when she was, when she lost her arm, she was recovering at her home was that Blake just left. Blake wasn't there for her. And understandably so like, like why said throughout like the first few seasons, Blake just spent her whole time being by herself and avoiding, like letting people know her backstory and her past. And then when she opened up and she let people know the people that she started to care about got injured or died like Pira. So obviously Blake feels responsible and she feels like she has to leave. She feels like she didn't have a choice, which obviously us, the audience knows that, but it sucks. It really does suck because we know that, that Blake really does care for for everyone she she's doing this because she feels like it's the right thing to do but i i like that that wife's went up and and talked to yang i i thought Ruby was going to do it at first, but then once Yang was like, once Yang assumed it was Ruby, I was like, it's Weiss. It has to be Weiss. And I liked her way of talking. Like how she listened to what Yang had to say and then waited for Yang to have her talk. Um, that sucks. That sucks hearing the stuff that happened to, to Weiss. I'm really curious to know, like, where her mother is. Is she just in the castle? Just like, drinking herself like away the entire time or i don't know in all honesty i don't know who she was referring to with drink with a little bit of wine here a little bit of wine there i don't know if that was the referring to the mother or to the father but motherfucking colonel sanders i oh i hope i hope one day in ruby he has a very satisfying and visceral death i really hope so because that bastard man um, and they even said, uh, like, what I was thinking, like, yeah, Yang has her loneliness, but Weiss has her version of it as well. Everyone has their own version of loneliness. I have my own version of loneliness. You have your own version of loneliness. Like, everyone ha has their own loneliness that they go through, and they deal with it different, different ways. Like, a perfect example. Growing up, I always felt lonely because I was an only child. I didn't have a brother or sister, and so I would just play video games by myself. That was uh, a little bit of my loneliness growing up. Um, but then you have other people who, like, have, like, maybe, like, their brother moved to college or something. Like, they went to college and moved, like, out of state, stuff like that, out of country. Like, that's a bit of loneliness. I, I really like the points that Weiss had, and I, I feel Weiss has really, really evolved. Like, she's become a really good friend. Again, Still my least favorite out of the four. But Weiss it does such a really good job. Like, I, I feel like she she's very much making up for the shitty behavior she had at the start. And she's doing really well. I definitely don't hate her anymore. She's not a fucking bitch anymore. But, um, she's, she's, she's still, like, the my least favorite out of the four. I do like how it kept cutting from Blake to Yang as well, because you, you, I, we all know Blake and Yang were very close. Like they, they were, they were becoming really good friends. And the fact that Yang freaking went to try to save Blake shows, shows that. And it's very valid how Yang is angry that Blake left. Cause 
Yang needed Blake. Yang lost her arm because of this, but Blake just left. Yang needed someone to be there for her, that the person that she tried to save. So, um, then with Blake, uh, going to meet uh, Idia. I I called it. I knew it was a trap. I didn't trust it one bit. I mean, obviously, like we saw that what her orders were, and it it had to be a trap. Um, I will say I fully thought she was in the shadow, and then her skin changed. Was like, oh, that's really smart. That's clever. I thought she was still in the shadows, but um, we got a bit of a revelation with her. She had a crush on Blake. But Blake was just consumed with Adam. And like her spots turned pink and everything and wow. That makes me wonder if if she'll turn to the good side because of Blake. I don't know because uh, uh, very it's very clear she still cares immensely about Blake and she still likes Blake. Um, I really like that. I like that that rev that realization because I wasn't expecting that. I had no clue that that she would have uh, been the very least uh, bisexual. So that's a uh, that's a very unexpected thing. But I mean, hey, like. That that happens, you know. And I said in the in the reaction, her voice actress, Idiot's voice actress, this episode really killed it. You, you could really like hear the anger and frustration, and then the pain in in the voice. She like really did a good job with her voice acting in this. It was, it was like top notch. And then uh, we cut, uh, we, we have Sun saving Blake. I, I knew it. I knew that that Sun would not have let Blake gone alone to do something. There was no way. There was no way, especially after everything that happened. Absolutely not. So I'm glad that, that he was there and Blake actually told him and be like, hey, stay close and wait for my signal. I thought that was, that was great. Um, I'm excited to see what the father does. I did not read the comment that told me exactly what type of grim he is. Um, I wanted to avoid that because that was a spoiler. It was a rhetorical question. I uh, the only question I, I had was if he was actually a grim. I mean, not grim. Uh, I keep saying grim. A faunus. How many times did I call the faunus grim in this? Um, I want to know if if he was a faunus. I didn't want to know what the faunus was. So I read someone else's comment that said like, yes, he is a faunus. You'll find out later. I was like, okay, great, thank you. Uh, I'm thinking maybe a panther. Um, maybe a bear. I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll get confirmation next, uh, episode. And I think from what I can see, it looks like his faunus thing is his, his hands, like his claws and stuff. Cause obviously some faunus are not as obvious as others. So I'm excited to see his fighting and him just protect his family and i'm excited to see the confrontation and I'm, I'm really wondering like when they're all gonna come back together and like form team ruby again that that'll be very interesting um i feel like this was a much shorter episode as well uh 15 minutes no i mean it, it's the same length i mean it looks like next episode is 20 almost 20 minutes so i guess it depends but I, I think that's all I got. Uh, I really liked the character um, moments in this episode. I thought it was very heartfelt and very real. So I really enjoyed that. I'm excited to see the action for next episode. But uh, my question I leave you guys with will just be what I asked at the beginning of the actual reaction. How do you take your coffee? Like I said, I take mine exactly like Ruby. Creamer with a side of coffee. I drown that shit in, vanilla, in uh, French vanilla creamer. I, I do not like black coffee, but I'm interested to know how you guys take your coffee. That's a little, a little fun question. Um, I could have asked another question 
pertaining to Idia and Blake, but I feel like that's a bit too personal. So, uh, besides that, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, have a good morning, afternoon, and evening. Goodbye, everyone.